Art Rafe finally hit the UK and Gaga done an impressive three sold out shows at the O2 Arena in London. And here is my tour review and my experience at the amazing Lady Gaga Art Rave The Art Pop Ball. So as I said, Gaga brought the Art Rave to London and she did three sold out shows at the O2 Arena. And it was absolutely incredible. It was my first ever kind of non-dramatical Gaga show. And she really pulled it off. The whole, everything about this show was perfect to a T. Alright, like, it was nothing like I've ever, ever experienced before at a Gaga show from the Monster Ball and the Born This Way Ball. I did review those two as well. Um, but this is totally different, and I know there aren't that many dates left, but I just wanted to go over how I felt at the tour, my experiences, and just review the show, because it deserved it. So like I do with all my reviews, I'm going to be flashing up images that I took from the tour, of my experience at the tour, and pictures that I took of Gaga, and maybe include a few little clips, so watch for those scrolling around. So where do I even begin with this tour? It was literally a rave. A rave. There wasn't anything set to it, there wasn't any theatrics, like a storyline, there was nothing like that. There were a few underlying themes that you could pick up during the show, which was very cleverly put in. But it was so unstructured, and it was just perfect. You turned up whenever you wanted to, there were like, obviously there was the standing, um, Little Monster Zone and stuff like that. But you literally turned up, you got to follow Gaga around, the way the stage was set up, it was incredible. So let's talk about the stage a little bit. There was, it wasn't set, as I said. Um, there were obviously set points on the stage that she did, so there was the main stage with like the big like god looking cloud thing, I believe it is. And then she had the runways coming out, and that was basically the core of the show. The see-through one runways that you could stand underneath and literally have Gaga singing above you while you had the time of your life in the standing bit. It was literally like it sprawled, it sprawled itself out throughout the entire general admission. And there was like a long runway, and the, at the end of the first one, it was the art pop zone and the the piano where she did like her toned down moments. And then it spread it out across the other side, and she literally just walked above you, like inches away from you, like over there. Literally, it was that close, you were that close, and it felt like you had a rapport with her. Like, she wanted to be involved in the party, so she put herself literally inches away from you, above there, so she could be involved in the party. That's basically what Art Rave was, a massive party. So she started off the show with an amazing, like, electronic interlude, and she started off with Art Pop, the track, and she came out in her amazing wings, which is probably my favourite look of the entire, like, my favourite tour outfit. She looked incredible in those wings, and then she came out in the wings looking all majestic, and she walked along the runway. She performed, um, Art Pop, and then she did, um, Guy straight away, which was an amazing explosive performance that literally got everyone going. And then my favourite part, well, one of my favourite parts, she walked back onto the main stage and did Donatella, and the electric energy that she radiated from Donatella. It was such an explosive performance and literally everyone was jumping, everyone was dancing and it was basically a rave. Like you could not help dance once all these massive club bangers came out. She moved the show along, she dressed in her normal seashell bikini and she did Venus. For all the shows that we went Little Monster Zone, we were at the Venus Bridge so she was literally right in front of us singing Venus. That was a massive highlight where the big like inappropriately looking things grew from the stage, looking like fairy, like mushroom things. Um, Venus was an amazing performance, and then she spoke to us, and she spoke to us about how you don't need um, a management and stuff like that, and how she's doing it on her own, and I'm really proud of her for that, that was a really key moment, and she looked down on us, and like, I'm sure she looked at me a few times when I blew kisses to her, and she smiled, which was a very heartwarming moment. Um, then she did manicure, um, she did pick up, like, whatever was thrown on stage to wear during manicure, and actually on the last show I threw up my leather jacket that I wore during the Born This Way Ball. Um, and she did actually pick it up, but unfortunately she didn't wear it because there was another jacket that said cheek to cheek on it. Um, but it's okay, she picked it up and she acknowledged my jacket, I guess. Um, but she did manicure, and she did, like, a little medley of, like, her big, like, radio-friendly hits. And I'm kind of glad that she did that. She did um, a medley of Just Dance, Poker Face and Telephone. And while still accommodating for the general fans who basically came for the hits, I like that she did a medley of them to keep it fairly quick because she did say that for those of you that come for the hits, grab a, a beer, a little monster or get the fuck out. 
because she's not here for all that, we know that. And after performing those songs quite a few times, like, I'm pretty sure everyone, the Little Monsters especially, want to hear her new material. So she did like a little medley of her biggest hit before doing like a party nauseous interlude and that was such a rave vibe interlude. I wish she came out and did party nauseous but it was amazing nonetheless. At this point she comes out in that strange octopus outfit. She did, she did look quite awesome in it, I must say, when she was like right in front of you with it. And this is where she did paparazzi and then she took off the octopus suit and did do what you want going up on the claw chair, which was pretty cool. And then she toned it down a bit and went on the piano and she performed Dope, which was very emotional. There was literally people crying everywhere. And then she did You and I, which was quite a big, like, ballsy performance. And then I loved how she did the whole run across the stage and skid along the floor. At this point, like, a lot of fans pelted her with a lot of shit. She picked up her note and then she did Born This Way on the piano after pulling up a fan on stage. It was really, really cute because a lot of the fans that went on had really heart heartwarming um, like notes thrown up at Gaga and just to see Gaga's connection with them when she pulled them on stage and she sang Born This Way to them it really really was quite a cute moment. After coming back up she came up with her like her jacket, the like, black thong and stuff with the green hair and she performed a little bit of The Edge of Glory and then she went straight into Judas. I'm glad she included even that little bit of Judas because that really does get the party going. And then straight after Judas she went back on the main stage and she did Aura. I'm kind of sad that she cut Aura in half. Um, I wish it kind of got its own special moment. And then straight after, she took the bed out. She did a really sexy performance of Sex Dreams. Before she moved into Mary Jane Holland, then she put all the chairs on her. And then she did Alejandro straight after. So that was a good little, I liked the way those songs blended together. I could see why she put them in that act. Um, and then at this point she did something a little special for the UK tours. She went out rather than stay on stage and get changed straight away. Um, she went out and put on her big black cheek to cheek wig with a red like smart jacket on. And she came out and she did bang bang and honestly that was a highlight. Her vocals, you could really hear her vocals and how fitted they are for the jazz genre. I do like that she included Bang Bang, it is a very firm fan favourite and it's done quite well on the tour I think. And then this is where she merged it in um, with Bad Romance where she literally got, chain uh, got unchanged on stage, um, got a drink from the Art Pop Zone and then went to get like changed on stage and she was naked. I will say that when she did get that drink she usually like shakes it into the crowd after she takes a sip. And this was a really delusional moment because at the last show, she for some reason she decided to shake it into the Venus Bridge because she doesn't usually do that. She shook it all on us and literally all of us like licked ourselves after we got covered in beer. That was so delusional to lick beer that Gargoyle's already drank. But delusion, you do crazy things in a situation like that. Um, she got changed on stage into the Amazing Dreads fun outfit and she did Bad Romance. One of the hidden meanings in this bit, just before Bad Romance it says, and now performing her hit single, Bad Romance. If you see how she gets changed on stage, it's kind of like how everyone dresses her and everyone makes her into a manufactured pop star. And then because she performs Bad Romance, which is one of her big hit singles, it kind of shows how she is the manufactured pop star at that point and she's trying to break away from that. So if you didn't pick that up, that little bit of trivia there for you. And then straight after Bad Romance, she did applause before pulling a few people on stage and doing the, the amazing swine. We all know how it ends. She comes out in that really angelic, glittery silver outfit. And it's a really, really, really intimate, intimate performance of Gypsy. Like this is when everyone got together, like there were more tears. And it was just a really fun highlight to the show where she made it really upbeat and did the proper version of Gypsy. And then she went off stage and that was the end of Art Rave. So that's what happened at Art Rave, but what did I take away from that? Honestly, it was an amazing few days. We obviously went to the Langham to try and meet her, but unfortunately we didn't. But we did see her come out on the first night. Um, but back to what I was saying, my experience at Art Rave really was a special one. Only because I got to spend it with a group of amazing people, some of my really close best friends, and to have them all there, like all together, enjoying Art Rave together, it was such an incredible experience. I had my amazing friend Nathan there, Rowan was there, Sean was there, my friend Ella was there, Colin, Jay, they were all there, Matt was there, um, I got to meet some amazing new people, my friend Dan who I went to Swine Fest with was there, 
I've met some amazing new people. I met Dan's friends, Phil, and I met um, a new guy, Ben, who Jay and Colin brought along. And it was just an amazing experience, all of us together. It really showed how Gaga unites a group of friends. Like, a lot of them I met through Gaga, so to go and experience Gaga with them and to have a really special moment, like, just enjoying the person that brought us together. I would love to just meet Gaga at one day, like, on a one-on-one -on -one basis and actually tell her how much that meant to me, that she brought my group of friends together, that we all got the chance to experience her together and just thank her for it because honestly a Gaga show is a time when all you, you just unite with your friends and you do become closer. But overall I had an amazing experience at Art Rave, it really was different to all the other tours that I've been before, it was less theatrical, more about the fun and more about the party and more about the music, this one. It's very different to the Born This Way Ball and the Monster Ball, so if you haven't been and you're gonna go, then it's very different and you're gonna have the time of your life. And as you know when I go to tours I always pick up merchandise like I always do, although funny enough I didn't pick up that much this time around. but. I got the usual stuff that you got with Little Monster Zone, so I got the tote bag that you get, which is a really cool tote bag, it's very well made. Um, I got the bubble gun that comes with the Little Monster Zone, which is pretty cool because it is actually branded Art Pop, the Art Brave on it, which I'm kind of glad about. Um, I, you also got this like lanyard in it, which is basically a coons ball there with Gaga's image there, which is pretty cool. Um, and you got the hard pack hardback tour program in it. So it's practically everything that I would have bought anywhere and I kind of got it free so I'm kind of glad that I didn't, that I got Little Monster Zone. Um, but I thought it was a cool free gift to get. Um, what, what I actually picked up though, which I wanted extra, um, I got the Art Rave Glow Stick. Um, I've got all of the ones from her other tour, so I've got the Born This Way Ball one and I've got the Fame Mon the Monster Ball one. So I wanted the Art Rave one as well to like go along with the set. Um, and I picked up a tour, like I said, I always pick up a tour t-shirt with the dates on the back for my faves. So I got like the standard Art Rave promotional image one with the dates on the back. Um, and then I couldn't resist, okay? I had to have these because I wanted to wear them. Um, and I picked up the Yas t-shirt. Yas, Gaga, slay me with that t-shirt. And I picked up the Slay t-shirt. So that's my merch. Spent an extra money that I really didn't need to, but it was worth it. Once in a lifetime opportunity. So yeah, there we go. That is the end of my Lady Gaga Art Rave tour review slash experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've already been to the tour, I want to know what your experiences are. Did you have any sentimental moments like I did with all my friends? Just let me know what you thought of the tour in general down there in the comments. As it's one of my videos, I always recap some of my older ones at the end. So over here, go and check out my Lush Christmas Bloggers event haul. Um, up there, check out my Angel Osecrete fragrance review. And over there, check out my Lady Gaga, Eau de Gaga fragrance review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It really means a lot to me. Click subscribe, like this video, all that stuff. Check out my website. And I will see you guys in another video.